right, strike me down, and you'll transition to the dark side. Let me will be complete. Go. I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> there was not even any warning. Because you don't know, because he stays in the closet all day. We don't know what he, he's in there. We think he's drinking, but then he, all of a sudden he goes, I'm ready. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> and now he's got asthma. I'm the Canadian villain, Garth Vader. <laughs> Garth Vader? <laughs> Okay. All right, everybody. We hope Father's Day was spectacular for you. You did something memorable with Dad. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Conley's Corner. Yay! Jazz hands. Hooray! Jazz hands. It's almost manic. <laughs> ah! I'm Crackwise Magazine editor in chief. Bombastor Ollie, crazy eyes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cousin Mookie is here. Oscar and Mo up front are. Intergalactical friend Joe Bot, if that's the right word, yeah. and he transcends the whole universe. Speaking of intergalactical, comedian Mike Conley. Hello, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> you know what? Let's talk relationships. It happens over time when you're partnered with someone, you kind of become like each other. I mean, yes, you're still individuals, but you just start acting the same, start doing the same things. It is science, people. Follow the science. Here are three ways that we change over time. It's not bad. You begin to adopt the same mannerisms. <coughs> the reasons me. why couples look alike over time is they, they start using the same muscles often and begin to mirror each other. You know, the same mannerisms. They're like a mirror, all right? You start to sound like each other. Couples change their basic rhythms and syntactical structures to become more similar after spending time together. Plus. Even text messages between couples become more similar. And also, <coughs> you create your own language. Couples make nicknames, inside jokes, secret words, and phrases in order to connect. Studies show that couples who make a secret language are happier. So see, it's not a bad thing. <clears throat> now, there are three ways you probably don't want to become like your partner. Yep. <laughs> yes, there are. Actually, I had to limit it to three people if you don't have all day. <laughs> First of all, when you start nagging about the same thing. Oh. Now you're not just agreeing with each other on something you don't like. Now you sound like that bitter old couple at Applebee's that nobody wants to sit next to. <laughs> Stop it. Arguing in the neighborhood. Right. There's mm -hmm. no arguing in the neighborhood. Yeah. That ain't good. You need that dollar margarita. That's right. And fellas... It's okay to be polite okay. and put the toilet seat down. Oh, okay. But when you start sitting down to pee, <laughs> unless you have a physical, yeah, you know, something happens, that requires right. you to sit down and uh -huh. pee, don't, don't, don't do that. I'll smack you. I, <laughs> just stand up and miss the toilet like the rest of us. You're giving us a bad name here is what you're doing. Is it going to become a mangina it, after it, Well, time? it could be. Unless you're really drunk and you need to sit down. In that case, install a seatbelt because <laughs> I find it works tremendously. You don't even need the shoulder strap because nobody comes in to check oh, that. Oh, no. And if they do, they're bringing their own shoulder strap, but that's another episode. <laughs> and finally, and I swear to God, if, uh -oh. if you do this, Dress alike. Oh! If you, I, oh, I swear to you, if you dress alike, I will climb across the bar and kick you both in the throat. I am not playing around. Do, 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 tweedle dumb and tweedle deep. Hell no! Do not dress alike. I have to agree on that one. I cannot stand couples that dress alike. It's just too much. No. Not gonna happen. That's just wrong. It's just wrong. Now, here's a, fellas, here's how you break that. Are you sisters? It's the first time she wears a tube top, you wear a tube top. <laughs> That'd be the last time you two leave the damn house. Shh. I don't want them to see me. That is a brilliant strategy, my friend. The little crap thing. With Ew, the, the with, belly shirt. Yeah, the little belly shirt and the little boy toy pants. And, <laughs> yeah, and you have one slide out the, <laughs> up there. And, yeah, let's, let's oh, see how no. that goes. Oh, yeah. Like silly putty. Yeah. Sticking and making. Yeah. Next thing, next <laughs> thing you know, it's a dirty martini with olives. All right, pal. Wow. I don't know how we got there. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. 
that that went this way and then that way. Drink recipe of the week at the bottom of the page. <laughs> no dirty words. Also, where you won't see Conley twinsing with anybody. Right. He's his own individual. Right. Um, like us on social media, Something. if you dare, and <laughs> make sure you check out crackwisemag.com. All right. Thanks, everybody, for hanging with us. <laughs> I could have said hanging out. <sighs> Today's episode of Conley's Corner is brought to you by the fact that Every day you're becoming more and more like me, and I'm becoming more and more like you. Thank you, everyone. I'm a yeah. Is there asbestos in no, the closet I don't. that he lives in? Because we need to get the radon checked or something. That man's got problems. It's just a variety of dust. <laughs> He's got an explanation. Of course he does.